Lawn is not supportive of the kinds of bees that we consider to be of conservation concern. So the big issue is how do I flip my lawn into native habitat, i.e. flowers, without a whole lot of work. So the solution that we have come up with, we dump about 8 to 12 inches of arborist chips. And then that amount of chip will completely suppress any of the grasses. The chips and the brush and whatever vegetation was alive at that time are now food for all the microorganisms in the soil. And they're basically now rototilling the soil because they're like, oh my God, this is like pizza every day, all this carbon, and we're just going to go crazy down here. That becomes food for the plants that get planted in there. Now, if you have woody plants, like you're putting it onto a semi-wild area, blackberries and other viney things will come up, but they're easy to spot and you can just chop them right out. Like here's a grape that's come up in the area when I thinned out to plant this, um, uh, what looks like a, a vaccinium of some kind, so a blueberry. And you just give it a quick chop. And then when it's time to plant, you would dig out a little crater and put in a plug or a plant into that area. If you're interested in saving bees, helping bees, it comes down to planting flowers. Stream anytime, anywhere with the free PBS app.